and he just said it. That means I got a partner. Let's do Ooh. it. And we smoked that fucking acid. <laughs> All morning. I've been still planning out tour shit, like whatever. I know you guys are sick of hearing about it. Obvious backlash from yesterday saying NMDs aren't dead, that you're just a hype beast. I just turned into a little conversation, which I'm sure that I came off like a total dick, as I tend to do sometimes, which is cool. I'm used to it. You know, the conversation turned into the NMDs are dead because, you know, the main thing is people always comment hype and profit. I don't care about any of those things, so it doesn't come into play when I talk about shoes. I don't really give a fuck how much money other people can make off shoes. When I sell a shoe for more than I paid for retail, it's only because of the environment that I exist in. I'm not gonna sell a shoe to somebody for 160 bucks and have them turn around and make $300 off of it. That's the same reason that production gets up by Adidas. Like, you don't think Adidas sits around or any company sits around and sees how much money other people are making off their product? It's like, yo, what the fuck? Like, I didn't start doing YouTube because Adidas was cool or Adidas was hype. I, like, go back to the first fucking awful video that I made. I had no intentions of, of a lot of these things. I think one thing that remains the same is when I put on a shoe that I like, I still actually like it. I buy a lot of stuff just to check out. Like This has taken on a new life. I, I buy shoes just to check out. I buy clothing drops just to check them out. I live in Denver, so what, what am I supposed to do? Not ever check out the shoe and then be like people on the internet who are like, that shoe's trash. I've never even seen it, but it's trash. It's trash, bro, trust me. Like, you don't know what you're talking. Physically, I spend my money, physically get things, check them out for myself, share that information with you guys, and sometimes I sell the stuff that I don't want, and sometimes I keep stuff that I didn't know that I was gonna like. That's just kind of the way it works. I'm showing you uh, my personal growth, my personal taste, my personal life for the most part. You don't see everything, but you see a lot. You know, someone left a comment about how NMD and Adidas are doing the same or similar things to Nike and Jordan by just like slapping a new upper on the same models and just changing the upper, and that's fucking ridiculous. You can't compare dialing in a fabric and dialing in an upper to perform better and differently as the same as a cosmetic thing like leather on a Jordan. It's literally always about the goddamn leather. We're not having the same conversation and I don't care like I know that it goes on and on and on. I don't care what you wear. That's where you're getting it twisted. I don't care what you wear. I just broadcast out what I think. Like I'm broadcasting out what I like, what I appreciate, what I see. That's it. Me existing does not mean that you shouldn't exist. Me having my opinion doesn't doesn't mean you shouldn't have yours. It just means that I don't agree with you. And uh, I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm not really an easily convincible guy. So it's fine. Like I have no problem discussing shit. But some of you guys are just retarded. Like some, like the, I think you're attacking. Like you don't, you don't need to attack people because you don't see shit the same way, and that's fine. You have to also be honest about your perspective. You're into shoes to make money off of it. You're like, I gotta make money off this shoe. And of course the shoe is dead to you, and of course you have no identity in the shit, and you're just gonna ping pong back and forth to whatever. That's your own insecurity. It has, no, has nothing to do with anybody else. That is insecurity 101. I'm super comfortable with who I am. The other thing is that Adidas pays me to do this shit, which Adidas doesn't pay me. Adidas has cost me thousands of dollars, like tens of thousands, twenty thousand dollars to be exact. So I I would straight up tell you if someone was paying me to tell you about something. First off, I have to legally. No, I actually am just a real human being and I know in this like scope of sneakers and hype beast shit and all this stuff, there's not a lot of people who are operating from a place of just buying what they want. If they are buying something they want, they check it out and they'll tell you that they don't like it. As I'm about to tell you about this shoe right here and the other one that came with it. Don't even want to do the on feet. But at the end of the day, if we're into shoes for different reasons and I'm into shoes because I appreciate how they're crafted, how they feel, how they look, how they make me feel, and you're into shoes because of how much money you can make off of them, we're not even in the motherfucking same building. If you are constantly saying that shoes are dead and shoes are dead, it might be your career choice that is dead. That's probably what it is. You know, nothing else is dying around here. My YouTube channel is not dying. My brand isn't dying. The only thing dying around here seems to be reason. Sale. I remember when this came out. I remember being like, I feel like a kid. Yeah, I remember this coming out. Old. Yeah, I remember it coming on HBO and just being like, I'm waiting for some nudie shit to come on. Well, I'm gonna get time for this. <laughs> well, Max was the most. This is all in here? Industry standard kitchen side towels, right? Yeah, that's exactly what they are. They remind me of working in a restaurant. Nice. Awesome. Thanks, Aaron. I'm gonna hook Aaron up. We're gonna write a cookbook together. Yeah, yeah, desk Ooh. for the toy shelf. Nice. Shout out to uh, Disc Golf. Disc yeah. golf things. I think it's Jordan Earhart or something like that. Oh, right? that name sounds familiar. Yeah. This is to Teddy and Omar. I don't know from who. From Prime. Human races. 
Oh, hey! Thought it was a game, it ain't no game out here. You dropped your uh, StockX card. Oh, thanks StockX, pay me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Hi, Ted. <laughs> Hi, Teddy. I'm tired of hearing you bitch about Ern's lack of rolling skills. Hopefully, this will help assist him at rolling perfect joints from here on. Joe Purdy, aka Grateful Deadstock, who you still that's never sent. Yeah, that's your what man. Did I not that's your man, huh? That's your man. You never sent him those Boost God pins. That that's beat. who they go to. Oh, I brought weed. Oh, look at you. Look at that. Let's look at this roll, raw rolling machine. Oh, yeah. The actual brand loyalty here. Yeah. Oh, it's not for you. It's not for you. Not for you. Okay. Oh, more. Oh. Oh, more about that gas. You're still not going to be able to roll them. <laughs> That's the irony. Oh, and this actually comes with, oh, a few paper. Well, there's a little black carrying pouch. You can put that on your fanny pack. Maybe you can stuff your vaporizer in there. <laughs> oh, more. We got another box. Hey Teddy, thought Omar might enjoy these. Or if Ern gives up vaping to pursue his pro tennis career. Is that what it says? Yeah. Oh, this dude, that's actually sick. I was gonna buy these for him and then I didn't want to be a fucking hype beast or get called a hype beast. Yo, shout out to you for doing this. Cause I was gonna get these for him and I didn't. But the homie fucking sent the Supreme tennis balls for Omar. Omar, you got Supreme, son. You little hype beast ass dog. Come here. Come here, you little hype beast ass dog. Oh, I love that. It reminds me of tennis popping them, that weird rubber smell. When you used to play tennis? I did used to play Were tennis. Were you in Cape Cod when you used to play tennis? I played on a few clay courts in Cape Cod. <laughs> <laughs> That's Look amazing. at you, you're so hype, bro. Look at you, you're so hype, these dog. Get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, not, not very much. What's Armand Minieri? Armand Minieri in the black box. Oh! Ah! You just gonna let him run off like that, man? I didn't even see it. Bring it back. That's somebody's box. Sorry, Hank. My man got your box. Yeah. Got a little Omar artifact. Omar artifact. Let's do it. See you later, Omar. Grab batteries. I'm ready to go. You said go, and now Omar's all fucking hype. Yeah. He just trolled the dog, too. He picked that up, so he doesn't think that's a treat, too. Eat that Polaroid battery on the way out. Oh, fuck, start shitting fucking memories, you know yeah. what I'm saying? You gonna bring the car that you just emptied? Fuck! The motherfucking print shop. To the motherfucking print shop. You think that your bitch hot? She really just a thick thot. Oh, you think that your bitch hot? Really, she a thick thot? <laughs> Yo, give me some auto tune. I'm gonna fucking hook that up tonight. Get Dream over here to write a hook. Yeah, dude. Actually, I got my hook. Fuck you, Dream. I only need to pay you. I'm the new Dream. Daydream. Whew. What you know about it? Be ghostwriting for Beyonce. It's starting to seem like not a not a good idea to have a fucking newfound troll as a yeah management type person in my life. <laughs> My manager trolls. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, you need to be here. Bah. I said Teddy like on the live stream, like hoo, 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 hoo. Teddy <laughs> thinks he's at a huge meeting with a record label right <laughs> yeah. now, but actually yeah. it's an empty warehouse. Because I would totally go to a record label meeting. <laughs> Alright, you know, whatever. I just said. No limit wants to sign you real quick, no. There's no limit office in Denver. Yeah, it's new. They just yeah. opened up their north area. They're rebranding. <laughs> They're going with more of like a homegrown feel. Yeah. What's up, cutie with the booty? Three stripe hoodie? <laughs> Damn! See? <laughs> Shorty thick. Okay. It's a portrait. That was like a nurse. I had to go all the way to the park to smoke a cigarette yeah. on her break at the hospital. Norman Rockwell was still alive. I commissioned him to paint it. Yeah. I literally opened the door to the gym yesterday and it was like, whoosh, and it like fucking shot me out. My hat blew off. I was like, what? The pulling the door shut like Dorothy or something. Like, yeah. Nah, Dorothy didn't make it. So whoever the fuck, you know, so I'm like pulling the door shut. I look around to see if anybody saw it. That really just fucking happened. The lady that does the front desk, like this older black lady, she's child. <laughs> She's like, that was crazy. She's like, you're not a small man. I was like, no, I'm not a small man. And then she just fucking blew my ass down the street. Yeah, it blew. So that shit ain't happened since college. You know what shit I'm ton of shingles. <laughs>
blew a shit ton of shingles off my roof. They had warnings everywhere around my building. My Uber driver, he was all Russian as fuck. He's like, I think it's Armageddon. I was like, dog, don't say that shit with that accent. Terminator 2 growing up, <laughs> shit scares me. Terminator. Between Terminator and Die Hard, you got me fucked up, fam. Terminator was the one movie I saw back in the day. All those it's things. the only one. The you know, one movie your parents allowed you to they watch. They didn't allow. I just managed someone. They showed me that at the. You're house. talking about T2, I assume, not Terminator 1. Uh, both of them, I remember. Terminator 1 came out in the 80s. Yeah, I might have, but 80, what, 5 or 6? I mean, was I 4 or 5? Five, five, like, You're pretty young. Most people were just watching T2 because it was just like such a big movie. Here's the one where he comes through the phone. Motherfucking T2, bitch. Okay, then that's, <laughs> yeah, then that's, 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 that's what I'm saying. You probably still ain't seen Terminator 1. I mean, it's not I that good. Like, I mean, it's a good movie, but compared to T2 is like fucking Boost and fucking goddamn Terminator 1 is like a Nike waffle. You pull a shotgun out of a box of roses, dog. Like, what the fuck? Shit is ill. Had motherfuckers writing emo songs by fucking dinner. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's the one where he just starts out like naked in a bar? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's the one I know. Yo! Hi! What's good? I just want to kill myself with seizure music. Why? 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 I like to give him like a little bit of time. Whoa. Here. Ted's here. Ted's here. Ted's here. Ted's here. And Ted's here. Ted's here. What's up? Nah. I thought that was a Transformer oh, shirt. Ted's here. Ted's here. Ted's here. Where do we sign up? Um, I already signed up. You can sign up. Just ColfaxMarathon.com. It's a half yeah. marathon. But yeah, you, they just sign up for the half marathon option. Oh, there is a whole marathon. It's, it's like kind of a bigger deal. Let's go. You just it gotta is. double it. Once you get to half, you just go down halfway here. I've been running for an hour, getting like 7.5. So I'm down there with like half right now. Right? Oh, okay. God. My like knees close. from yesterday are like. Are aching? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, I feel you. Yeah, that'll look better for sure. What's up? Yes, sir. Get out of here. Where did the black knees come from? Right. See you guys later. Oh, shit. Peace. Caps, caption contest. Caps, caption contest right here. Caption contest. So. Nice. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's go. Let's go to the mall. Go to the mall? Yeah, yeah, come on. We're going shoe shopping. Let's go. Shopping. What's on feet? Why not? Going to the mall now, to show you how to ball. I didn't even take a chance. Didn't try to call. What? Walking through the hall. What you want to go? What? Let's try to switch all this up, Parker. Right? Wait, does that say 23 minutes? minutes? Hold on, hold on. Hold on. It is, it's 13 miles. The yellow ones? Yeah. Uh, which one's the R1 or R2? STLT. The STLT, the ones with like them lines through it. It's an R1. Uh, but... I don't think we even have the one here at this location. Oh, wait, the yellow one? Yellow and black one? Yeah. A size 13, let me check for you, okay? Cool, thank you. We have a 12 and a half or 12. I don't have a 13. Okay, cool, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I don't need to go there if you want. Yeah, I don't yeah, need to. I have we a, don't have to do it right yeah, now. Okay. If I want to get them, they're not going to. Yeah, they're on sale too, I think. Stainless steel oval baker. Nice. With pot holders, so you don't burn your motherfucking hand. Damn, son. Coleman Collection. Oh. Hello. Welcome to the Coleman Collection. The photo of the vineyard that my olive oil came from has a tree, a photo of the tree, the olive tree. Say, somebody probably got a pair of 747. Uh, olive Oil Council formed in 1992. It's the purpose was to collect and disseminate information about how to grow olive trees and produce extra virgin olive oil. Californian accent? No! This is my Scala accent. Homemade Cheez-Its that are no, nothing, no, it's just cheese. Boom, Cheez-Its coming out for the salad. Just a little, little side dish for the salad. Shits are lit. It's boxed up, shout out to Dirty Motherfucking Urn. For killing it. I'm gonna eat my salad. I'm gonna answer some emails. Talk about the undefeated collab, but not this year. So today's been an experience for my feet. Um, she were talking about. We have the entire undefeated collab to discuss. I gotta take a dab. Actually, hold on a second. A very interesting shoe experience day for me. So everyone knows, like, I love what drew me into Ultra Boost NMDs first to keep with the theme uh, was the sock-like upper. The way that the sock hugs your foot, 
the way that I can see my toes wiggling, like all of these things are what really kind of drew me in, you know, the minimal branding. There's always a fucking ambulance outside. It like straight up, like, it's just Gotham. I have no other words for it. It's just straight Gotham. Whenever shit's going down. But yeah, sock like uppers, that's, that's my shit. And then that combined with Boost, is just like this marriage that just, I mean, obviously, look around, like look at my life. Like this is completely overtaking my whole life. So obviously it, I fuck with it. Genuinely fuck with it. A defeated collab has come in. Everything except the white pair. We're not gonna look at the Ultra Boost today. We'll look at the both pairs of Ultra Boost at another when the white pair gets here. Today I decided I was gonna wear the Adi Zeros for the first time ever. So I've never had an Adi ever were in my size and appealed to me. I think there was like a Kith exclusive at one point that came in a 13, but I didn't cop it, whatever. I've never had the shoe before. I, I did not know what I was going into. Uh, the black pair really, really, I think looks super clean. Like it's just like a really good looking shoe. And the camo pair, I was just interested. Like it's just on, you know, like I said earlier, sometimes it's just about copying just to check out and to share. That is what I did. Uh, and I ended up today with, these are the camo pair, obviously, camouflage, undefeated, body zero. This is the black pair, uh, which is also part of the collaboration. So both shoes are super similar in the way that they're made. The uppers are fairly identical other than just some flip flops and materials. We'll go through each one, I guess. Omar just came running in with his Supreme ball. So the camo one obviously camo and has undefeated sort of watermarked all over it. Both shoes just utilize different accents in the same spot. Camo pair has ATR taping where the black pair has suede. The three stripes are leather, three stripes are taping. Heel cup is completely suede on this one. This one it goes from leather to more TPU. But other than that, the materials are the same. They fit the same. For the sake of visuals, we're gonna use the camo shoe. But for the record, I think this shoe is super fucking clean. Like this one, all black upper, black, black, black. It's black on black. It's jaw rules fuck. But then there's the little cash rules, everything around me and the motherfucking three stripe. The undefeated logo on the tongue is nice and clean and simple. But that just being green with black is an underplayed colorway altogether. This colorway is definitely my favorite. This colorway is growing on me a little bit. It's definitely got, to me, some 90s, early 2000 vibes with the desert kind of camo. Uh, some people are saying it's 2017. I never saw a resurgence of desert camo, Re not recently. It's probably, it's coming back, I'm sure. You know what I mean? Purple camo, all kinds of camo. Camo toe. All right, so the materials on the shoe. The upper is a crazy, not so stretchy, double-sided mesh, but it's very open. It's very sports mesh. And the whole entire upper is basically this material which is makes this thing just crazy like crazy crazy breathable the breathability issue is insane it does come with an insole insole is removable but i do not think that that is a smart idea performance logo adi zero adios and then you have boost midsole torsion system someone asked the other day in my mentions what the torsion system was for the torsion system is for when you are you're running walking whatever uh moving one it helps you keep a forward momentum but two if you misplace your foot you know if you've been running for a long time and you're tired and your foot comes down crooked, the idea of a torsion system is to keep everything straight. Sort of keeps everything in balance for you um, as a performance shoot. Uh, the boost on this is minimal. All right, so th here's how we're gonna get into this. So I put these on this morning and I got super sad. I immediately was like, man, these do not fucking feel good. These are, these are terrible. I'm like, these are fucking, like, I don't want to wear these. Kicked them right off my feet and I didn't put them on for hours. I even tweeted, then I put them back on. Then I went and ran some errands, tweeted. My feet just didn't feel the same. I, you know, my sock collar, my my smushy, squishy, insane pillows of boost are just gone. Like, it's just not what I'm used to. So I even said, I'm like, these undefeated are defeating my feet. I tweeted it. A couple of people commented, you know, whatever, whatever. It's gonna come home and look up all of the things that I need to know about it because I don't know everything about the shoe or I didn't. I feel like I know enough about it now. Basically, once I did my research, and I started to wear it with the mindset of what it was designed for. You know, instead of wearing it as if it's like a, cause this is not, normally we're talking about how something's not a performance shoe. This is not a cap shoe for you to wear casually at all really in my opinion. Some people want, might disagree with that, but I feel like if you're used to the Ultra Boost NMD 
City Sock Pharrell vibe. This is like, this is crazy. Like it's a completely different, it's Switch. It's a Switch, trust me it's a Switch. So at first I gave it no real merit because I was like, you know, from where, what I, where I operate normally is just comfort. I'm always talking comfort, comfort, comfort. That's not what this shoe is designed for. It is, it has comfort factors to it. It's built with comfort in mind, but it's also built with performance in mind. It's a super high performance shoe. It's for elite athletes, so I mean, of course, we all know Dirty Urn should probably have this. But it's not casual, it's not for lounging, it's not, it does not have the comfort that I'm looking for in a shoe that I'm going to just chill out in. But, why things are the way that they are, it completely changed my perspective about the shoe. So to get into who made the shoe, why they made the shoe, what it's all about. If I butcher this name, excuse me, I'm very sorry, Toshiaki. Omori. Mr. Omori is a very precise shoemaker from Japan. So precise that he still uses hand tools and does not use any kind of computers to do any kind of his designing. Everything is precisely measured by hand, which he says will outdo a machine any day. That machines will never be able to get that kind of precision to be able to work and uh, alter their cuts the way that he can by hand when making a mold. Uh, he started working on the Audi Zero with Adidas in 1999, and the idea behind the shoe is to be super precise. Everything is measured down to exact precision. Every piece has a function. There's nothing extra added to it. It's very, very light, even down to the boost. The boost has been shaved down, so there's not too much boost in it. We all, I don't run like that. You know, I'm not a, I'm not a distance marathon runner by any means. So I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Ern says he's gonna try a pair of these out now because of this explanation. Even when compared, the boost has been shaved down, the torsion system has been shaved down. The lockdown on the upper is fucking crazy. Like it's not as it's what I feel like we're striving for with NMDs and Ultra Boost. Is this just crazy, like precise lockdown? This shoe has it. This shoe absolutely, absolutely has it. It locks your foot in place in a super comfortable manner for like an actual performance like serious i'm gonna have fucking bloody feet possibly runner even though maybe your feet i don't know i'm not gonna start talking about it. breathable like just walking around in them you can feel the air shooting through your feet which is like a little air conditioner which feels amazing the boost response is not really that crazy to me i don't really feel it in any way like i feel in an ultra boost you still feel boost in the shoe it's just a stiffer feel and most of that stiffness is coming from the heel i did not mean for that to rhyme but it did the back heel reinforcement is super stiff uh i mean hard super supportive i mean the heel area is insane support for a lockdown is crazy the breathability is crazy i'm not gonna say the boost is crazy but like i said compared to another runner probably is crazy uh given running distances and marathons and shit like that i imagine boost if boost helps me standing all day i'm only gonna imagine if you're running a marathon it helps it does have a continental sole so this shoe has existed they've had this shoe other models this is just an undefeated version um so this is nothing new. I've just never had any, I've never had any like real intrigue to check them out. Instant buyer's remorse. I was upset that I un ds them. I was upset that I took the tags off. I was upset. Like I was like, what did I do? Why? Did I? I just sold a bunch of shoes that I'm not. But once I learned more about the shoe and how it is a high performance shoe, and of course we're on a fitness, I don't even want to say journey. We're just on this motherfucking like whatever. I don't even know. We're just living, dog. We just live how we live, and we live how we want to live. We're living breezy, just like this shoe, because it's made of like no materials, like, like the most open, like can like blow through it. It's crazy. And the narrowness, because the big thing of this, this shoe is very narrow. Like it is super, super narrow. It makes sense. It you know, if there's a Japanese creator, it it it. it it makes sense. Again, that narrowness and that lockdown is insane. I imagine for runners, this shoe is probably, it's got, I don't know, but it's gotta be like one of the top rated shoes. Well, obviously if marathons are being worn. So these are the shoes. I am super actually glad that I got them now. I'm glad that it caused me to look into these, into the model, why it is what it is, instead of just saying like, oh, this shoe's trash. It felt good to learn about something and then change my mindset on how to appreciate it because things are just different. You know, you can't, if something is designed for for a purpose versus a different purpose, I feel like it's important to at least give it that respect. Of course, uh, the day that I start sprinting again, which will probably not really be that soon, I'll wear these. So I'm gonna keep these. I really hate running. Like, I really, really fucking hate it. So as far as any kind of fitness goes, um, it's like the last thing that I want to do ever. At least I currently hate it. I guess your mind can change. Well, I know your mind can change because it did today. But here's the shoe. Boom, boom, boom. Da, 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 da. This is the other one. 
They're on my feet here in a second. Bam, bam, bam. That's the day. I love you all dearly. Even you hating ass motherfuckers. Peace!